Hi, my name is Kristen and I am the founder of B.I. Book Crate. This is the parent video. The book that we included was Archie Green and the Magician's Secret by Dee Dee Everest. So it's a great story. It has lots of action, lots of magic, lots of intrigue. So the main character of this story is Archie Green. He is 12 years old and he lives with his granny. His parents were killed in an accident along with his sister when he was quite young. So he has lived with his granny ever since. And he has no idea of any of his other family members or any of his past um, connections to magic. On his 12th birthday, he receives a book. And inside the book is a note that says that he needs to take it to a specific bookshop in Oxford. Now the thing with the book is that it was actually on a timeline. So he needed to bring that book to Oxford before for a specific date, but he was actually late. So this book had been in a um, storage of some sort for about 400 years waiting um, to be delivered to Archie Green on his 12th birthday. So um, there were some also some letters that went along with the package, but the guy who was bringing the package to him lost them and ended up finding it and bringing it to him later, but it had a riddle and the riddle is kind of a key part of the story. Once Archie gets to Oxford and he goes to the bookstore, he gets directed downstairs, told not to open certain doors, and he is introduced to someone named Zeb, who is a bookbinder. So through his conversations with Zeb, he actually finds out that he is going to be a part of this Flame Keepers organization because his family, his dad, was also a part of it. So Zeb actually throws this fire, which is called the Fire of Alexandria, but when he catches it, it marks his skin with a flame mark, and it is a symbol that um, determines what apprenticeship he is. So there's three apprenticeships in the Flame Keepers organization. He learns more about the Flame Keepers when he goes to stay with his cousins and his aunt because they are all members of the Flame Keepers of Alexandria and they are all different apprenticeships. So Archie um, befriends cousins, they get along great, they show him the rope, so to speak, of um, being a Flame Keeper, they tell him the history, they introduce him to the museum where the flame keepers take care of and track down and repair and hold all sorts of magical books. So Archie finds out that there's three types of magic. Um, one's natural magic, which comes from magical creatures and plants. There's mortal magic, which is man-made magic. And there's supernatural magic, which is kind of like the most dangerous one. So Archie actually finds out that there's something unique about him. He is a book whisperer. So he can actually speak and hear magical books. So Archie and his cousins break into the bookstore to steal the book that Archie had brought to the bookstore in the first place because they believe that maybe that book is the one that people are looking for. Um, and very shortly after that, someone else breaks into the museum looking for that book, but they had already had it and they'd already kept it safe. So in order to find out more information about his past and his destiny, he decides to look into the book of yore, which is something they're not supposed to do, but it can either tell you your future or your past. She actually gets sucked into the book and back in time to view something that had happened 400 years ago, the reason why he got the book, and it was because of a man named John Dee who was in search of all these magical books and found out kind of their power and everything like that and wanted to keep them away from certain people and usage. So Archie goes back in time through this book of yore to kind of view the events that led to him getting the book. Um, and he actually almost gets stuck in there a few times and each time he goes back he sees a few different parts of it and it's kind of fitting together the puzzle of why all this is happening. So in one of the times when Archie goes back um, through the back book of yore, he gets transported to the actual event, the fire in the library of Alexandria, and he witnesses something pretty significant. Dark figure, he is kind of like the worst of the worst. His name is Barzak, um, and you actually find out that the book that Archie had is called the Book of Souls. and. Barzak is actually held captive inside that book. So the book that he has is written in this different language that Archie can actually understand. Book of Souls is really, really dangerous and nobody actually believes that it was around anymore. They thought it was destroyed. So this book is like the book of the most darkest magic um, ever and can kind of 
destroy everything. So the very end of the book gets very, um, very scary, I would say. Um, it happens in the crypt, which is where they keep the most deadly tomes, which are those deadly magical books. This is where they find out who it was that was betraying them and causing all of the problems and the fires and, and releasing the bad magic. And that is after the book. And it's actually someone they trust. And he was working with some other people who just want to get the book for themselves. So they um, grab Archie's cousins and they force him to open the book to release Barzak um, and it's really actually kind of scary but I think if your kids um, read things like Harry Potter or fans of that kind of book it'd be okay. So throughout the um, kind of battle I guess Archie's had this little book called the Little Book of Blessings that is very pure very nice magic and he keeps it with them to kind of keep him safe and little book actually gives her all of his magic and helps him to defeat the bad dark magic. What might be a little intense for some readers, it's not a big part of the book but it is a sin part. The little book of blessings kind of pulses out all of her magic and Barzette gets sucked back into the book and it says like like a grotesque jack-in-the-box. He writhed and twisted and fought, his talons ripped at the bindings, his dark eyes um, flashed with hatred and then like a screaming dying animal um, the wrinkled skin of his face and hands disappeared and the book snapped shut. So that's kind of how it ends with them capturing him. So this book is the first book in a series and it does at the end of the story kind of wrap up the story that we've read but it does kind of lead into another one which is very exciting because if your kids like this book they can keep reading about Archie. I believe there's a few more. So it's a great story. I think your kids will love it. Again it is a little intense at the end really up until the end of the book it's pretty easy read um, lots of adventure and magic and fun stuff like that but I do want to kind of just say you know if you're concerned maybe read the last two or three chapters yourself before giving it to your kids so in the box we have a lot of fun things that tie into the book there is a magic kit so your kids can kind of experiment with their own Ma mortal magic um, man made magic kit um, then they also have a set of fake tattoos that I had custom made that are all of the marks of the different apprenticeships so they can um, pick whatever apprenticeship they want there's also some motion potion motion potion is a big part of the book which when they read they'll find out why um, there's also a custom bookmark there is a custom pin for this box each box is gonna have their own pin now there's also a book binding kit, so really it's a very easy project. There's some instructions in the front and they can make their own little booklet. There's a lot of fun things, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know um, through Instagram and social media, hashtag VI Book Club. Let me see some pictures. I'm super excited. All right, thanks guys. The next month will be, um, it's a catastrophe. 